Hello, good morning. How are we all doing? It's food reveal time. So what do I have today? So I've ordered a couple of Tesco meal deals today. Um, so I got home quite late last night. Didn't go home until about one o'clock this morning. Uh, so yeah, just ordered a couple of Tesco meal deals. So let's have a look what we got. Okay, we've got two Mango Locos Monsters. Love those drinks. Lovely. And we've got two cheese triple sandwiches. So I do like these. I do like my cheese. Um, we've got a couple of Eat Natural bars. Um, we've had these before. Uh, fruit and nut bar, almond and apricot with yogurt with a yogurt coating. So we've got that one. And we've got an Eat Natural bar, fruit and nut bar, dark chocolate with cranberries and macadamia nuts. So there we go. Let's uh, give the food a whirl, shall we? Right, let's wet the whistle, as they say. Let's have a bit of drink. Okay. Mmm, yummy. Uh. Excuse me, 8 out of 10 for the burp. Uh, 10 out of 10 for the drinks. I do like man, uh, monster drinks. Um, Mango Loco is one of my favourites. Uh, there's many others that I do like as well, but yeah, it's one of my favourites, that is. I don't want to talk. Oh, don't know what that is. Right, oh, a bit of cat fur. <laughs> a bit of cat fur. Okay, so cheese triple sandwich. Now, we've done this review before, but... Obviously, you know, the reviews can change, yeah? Obviously not with the monster drinks, but sandwich-wise, you know, um, these are today's date. What, what is today's date? Is it 27th, is it? Yeah, 27th. Right, yeah, so they're today's date. Um, so obviously sometimes, most of the time, you get them with their two-day life on them. Obviously these are today's date, so, you know, could be a different score. Who knows? Let's have a look. Yeah, the cheese and onion one's always overpowering for me. Um, not overly keen on that one. Um, you can tell the bread's on, coming to its, you know, on the turn, uh, well, coming to, uh, over, like it's on the turn, yeah? Starting to get a bit hard, the bread. And that's obviously because it's today's date. But it's not as fresh as the, you'd normally get them. Um, so normally when I buy them, you get like a two day life on them. This hasn't even got one day life because it's today. Um, so yeah. The bread, obviously, yeah, I mean, it, it's better if they are, you get the two-day two day life on them. Um, the sandwich, or the cheese and onion one anyway, uh, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because it's overpowering the cheese and onion filler anyway and the bread's, you know, pretty bad. Um, it is better when you, you get them, f like, fresher. Um, but there we go. It, you can't have it all. all right, let's try this one. Yeah, same on that one as well. The bread's starting to get hard around the sides, um, which, you know, isn't great. I do put, I do like the cheese and tomato one. Um, I'd normally give that a nine out of 10, normally if it was the bread was nice and soft and fresh, uh, but it is gonna get knocked down. And it's also gonna be a, a six out of 10. Um, even though the, the sandwich is nice, it, you know, having like, where it's sort of like hard around the outside of the bread, it's not, yeah, not great. Okay, let's try the cheese and uh, pickle, shall we? See that one, because it's a different bread as well, it's wholemeal. It's nice. Hmm. Very nice. That one's not bad at all. It's a different bread, like it's his wholemeal. But it's nice and soft, the bread. So, yeah, and I do like the, che the cheese and pickle one's probably my favourite one out of all of them. So it's going to be uh, 9 out of 10 for the cheese and pickle one. The bread's good. It's nice and soft still, even though it's, to, you know, today's date. Uh, but it was better than the other breads, that, of the other, the other sandwiches. So, yeah, 9 out of 10 for those. All right, let's have a little bit more drink, shall we? Mm. 
<coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Eight or ten for that burb as well. It wasn't great. Right, we have had these before. So let's try these again. Uh, I don't think these are going to really change from my other scores, but there, there we go. They're really nice, these are. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, nine out of ten. Uh, nice with the yogurt on there, and the apricots and uh, whatever it was else from it was apricots and almonds. Yeah, really nice. Nine out of ten for that one. Quite tasty. All right, let's get on to this one. This is the fruit and nut dark chocolate with macadamia nuts and cranberries. Let's have a look at this one. Again, we've had this one as well. If I remember rightly, I gave this a better mark than the other one. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice this one. Mm. Yeah, that one's much nicer. It's, I love the dark chocolate anyway on that. And the macadamia nuts and the cranberries all all go quite nicely together. Very, very nice, uh, well, is it breakfast bar, cereal bar, something like that. But yeah, I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. That's really, really nice. Really like that. There we go. There's my review. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Have a great rest of the day.